Hi, I'm Lieutenant John Hayes, the first openly gay male state trooper and the LGBTQ liaison for the New Jersey State Police. Like Attorney General Gray Wall, the New Jersey State Police and all our law enforcement partners across the state are committed to protecting our residents, no matter their sexual orientation or gender identity. With Attorney General Gray Wall announcing the new LGBTQ Equality Directive today, I'd like to take a few moments to focus on some aspects of the new rules and how we're committed to making New Jersey safer and more secure for all our residents. Here's the first rule established by today's directive. No officer can ever harass or discriminate against anyone based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. It's that simple. No officer can stop, search, or detain anyone for being gay, for being transgender, or for being gender nonconforming. And every officer must take your request for help seriously, no matter your sexuality or gender identity, because we protect LGBTQ people just like we protect everyone else. But that's not all we promise. Among other things, the LGBTQ Equality Directive also tells officers to use respectful language when communicating with LGBTQ people. So we'll call transgender people by their chosen names. We'll respectfully ask people what pronouns they use. And we'll never use offensive words to describe LGBTQ individuals. Because here's the bottom line. Law enforcement officers all across New Jersey are committed to treating LGBTQ people equally and with dignity. And today's directive will help us do so.